che si tratti del gusto fresco dei pomodori appena colti e perfettamente maturati dal sole del Mediterraneo, dei sapori ricchi e complessi dell'aceto balsamico della famosa regione di Modena o di prodotti di forno realizzati con tradizioni che si tramandano a generazioni, Tuscanini si ripromette di portarvi il meglio dell'Italia. Buon appetito! Hey, English! Oh, I am sorry, uh, Tuscanini is uh, the best of Italy in your home. Come, let's cook. I'm at home. Today, I want to have some fun with you guys. Let's make some pasta. Really, really good pasta. So pasta became a minig in my family. It's that I don't get to go home in the middle of the week. I'm in the restaurant business. I work late hours. Matzah Shabbos is when I stay home, spend time with the kids. We have guests for Shabbos. They stay Matzah Shabbos. We have social media, the whole world knows. <laughs> Yossi's know, making pasta. So I figured out the recipe that I think everybody likes best. And this is the one I want to share with you today. I'm gonna start off with some leek. I have to warm up my pot. A little olive oil. Some leek. Hold on a second. I gotta cook my pasta. I have some water boiling. This is the best kosher pasta I found. This is not the blue box stuff. This is the real deal. Trust me, when you try this pasta, you see the difference. It's not your regular pasta. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the sauce that I wanna do. If you make a mess, figure out how to clean it up. The deal in my house, I cook, I make the mess, everybody else has to clean up. Simple. Mm -hmm. That's nice and hot. You hear that sound? That's music to my ears. Next. I'm gonna go ahead and put some garlic in. I'm gonna save some garlic for later, you'll see. Always a little bit of heat. If you're not a spicy type of person, don't put it in your sauce. Skip it. I wish you guys could smell this. It really smells so good. Next, mushrooms. And I'm gonna start dicing up some fresh tomatoes. Okay, in we go with the tomatoes. Now this recipe is gonna give you a nice, a nice amount to feed the whole family. And probably then some guests. Here we have to start moving a little quickly because my sauce is almost ready, my pasta went right back into the pot, I strained it already. Butter, a little bit of milk. I'm gonna put in a little bit of garlic. And I'm gonna go in with some cheddar cheese. And a little bit of mozzarella. Okay, I think that's good. You know what, I'll put in the whole thing. Let's make it really cheesy. To me, this is like some type of an adult version of mac and cheese. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna add some tomato sauce. I'm gonna go in with a full bottle. I do want a little bit of tomato paste. That's why I love the tube. I love the tube because all you have to do is go a little bit and then you're done. Let's get going. Of course, always a little bit of kosher salt. Garlic powder, black pepper. A little bit of coriander, just to make things a little different. Oregano, a nice amount. A little bit of more fresh garlic. Of course, sugar. If you like herbs, you can add some basil. 
Give it that delicious herby taste. Let's taste it. Mm. It's coming together. A little spicy jalapeno. It's a spicy jalapeno. I like it. I just want a little bit more oomph. Today we'll go in with a little bit of Bratamura. A little bit of that. If you have any kids that are picky eaters, now is when you take some pasta off. This is where I like to put in a little bit of scallions. I want to squeeze in a lemon. We got a lemon in there. Now for the fun part. Everything. The whole thing. We're almost done. You can eat this the way it is. I just like one little finished touch. Gonna put this in the oven with a little cheese on top. Like a big ziti. Little pizza cheese on top. Pop this in the oven. 20 minutes on 400, 15 minutes. Little Parmesan cheese so uh, you can't eat flesh for six hours, how about that? This is ready, right into the oven. Let me show you what happens. To get a real good pasta dish and the same results I got, use good ingredients. Use the best tomato sauce out there. Use the best tomato paste out there. Use the best pasta. You'll see the difference. And I use the Tuscanini products. Their pasta, their all natural tomato sauce, their tomato paste in the tube. I get the perfect result. And the hardest part of the pasta is waiting for it to be done. So what do you do? You crack open a bottle of Tuscanini soda. Okay, pasta's ready. Just came out of the oven. I'm gonna chop some fresh parsley up. Tasting time. Who wants to be here together with me to taste? <laughs> Let's do this. I'm excited now. Try not to make a mess. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Cheesy. Delicious. I can eat this all day. Hold on. <laughs> How can I forget? This is the wine I used for the sauce. So of course I'll pure it together with that. Abyssal. And for the number one question that everybody always asks me, whose kitchen is this in? Guess what? Check out this guy, a Roselli kitchen. He'll answer all your questions.